What's up everybody? Welcome to Fallout New Vegas. I've been preparing this series for quite a while now and I hope you guys very well enjoy it. This is going to be a modded playthrough and which uh, it's going to be more of an immersive playthrough so that basically means I'm going to be playing on very hard hardcore mode and I'm going to try my very best not to fast travel whatsoever. I hope you guys enjoy the series and I'm going to shut up now so you can enjoy the rest of this intro. kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. The truth is, the game was rigged from the start. That's just great, isn't it? Ugh. What? You're kidding me right now. Why you do this, New Vegas? Oh yeah, this is one of my other mods. 
Welcome to your suite. Welcome to the Lucky 38 Suite Reloaded Mod V version 4.5. Your suite redefined. For users who have previously used versions before, okay, we don't need to read that. This version of Lucky 38, okay, no, 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 we don't need to read that. For new users, before activating this mod, is now, okay, we don't need to do this, we just, just, just skip it, just skip it. And I have the Ultimate Edition, so all the DLCs are in here as well. So you'll see stuff popping up. Trouble pack items. Not gonna be using that. And I also am using Project Nevada. I also have a mod known as New Vegas Bounties 1 and 2. More stuff. That's that's the annoying part of this. And this playthrough, I am going to be playing as myself, and my name is Ian. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework. You'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Alright, I'm gonna make this look as much as me as possible somehow, and I'll be back with the full result. Alright, we are here with myself, and this is basically the closest I could have got to becoming myself, basically. Yeah, let's get it done. Yes. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Oh, there we go. Hey look, a doctor's bag right there. I see it. Right there in the middle of my screen. Aha! Take. Mine now. I'm gonna take that. I'll do this. Oh, oh well, can I do it? Can I do it? 
Can I do it? Alright. Alright, so I've already got a good thing of what I want to do. Let me just look first at charisma. What I actually don't never I never learned what is companion nerve. I really have no idea. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to I'm gonna go straight to here. We're gonna go put our five points straight all into intelligence right there. And then we're gonna take off charisma and we're gonna put one in perception. Although I really wanna put that into three right there and put one into luck, just because Oh, something called gambling you need luck for, so, yeah. We're gonna go with that. And I'm gonna take this while I'm at it. Okay, I was thinking of day, but how about dream? Bandit. Crush. Ah, hi, right Light. there. Heavy. Mother. Caretaker. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First, okay. One, conflict just ain't in my nature. I really have no opinion on that. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Again, I have no opinion. <laughs> I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I strongly disagree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. I agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Looks like a shadow and a door frame, kinda. But then it also looks like two hands thumbs up, but well, whatever. Okay. How about this one? I mean, it looks like a pelt. But that's not on here, is it? No. I'll go with that one. Last one. Hey, it looks like two bear or two bears high fiving. Oh yeah. The beard man. Well, that's all she wrote. Let me know if you guys get that reference. No, no, and yes. Actually, no, that's not, no, 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 nothing of this actually. Oh god. Everything's so low. Anyway, guns. Uh, guns. Since we're gonna be playing a hardcore, I would think. But my pair, okay, my pair is already 25, that's good, so. Survival. And I kind of want to really want to do speech. Then I also want to do lockpick. Lockpick would help. Oh crap! I just realized I forgot it. Isn't in Project Nevada you can blow stuff up? Like you can throw a grenade or something at a door, and it could it could possibly unlock it. I think depending on your explosive skill. I can't remember. I think I'm gonna go with speech. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with speech. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot. In you know, Doc, you got holes in your ceiling. Oh, yeah. I've already basically figured out what perks I want to get. Definitely four eyes. And, oh god, I mean it's really between this, Wild Wasteland, and Small Frame. Because at small, with Small Frame, once I get to rank 14, I can get 
adamantium skeleton, which completely just makes this perk do absolutely nothing, and I get plus one agility without having my limbs for easy grip with. But I'm gonna have to go wild wasteland because I want the alien blaster, because I really want that. What you got in here? Oh, I don't want to grab that. Oh, good boy. Nothing. You got an ashtray. I'm gonna take that hat right there. I'm gonna take them stim packs and that anti venom and that radix and stim packs and oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. We don't really need this stuff. I'll sell that. Metal box. No. I do have a science. I mean, I do have a repair of 25. Might as well do that. Create some drugs. How about create some stim packs? Uh, I got my bag around this way. What else has got? Not, not nothing. Nothing. What you got in here? Not nothing. The kitchen, yeah, nothing. The bathroom, nothing. Oh, whoa, look at this stuff. A foot to lock here. I'll take that and that. With a lot of gourd seeds, I can probably take that. First aid box. Uh, well, I'll take all that. I'll just take that all. Yeah, I'll take all that too. I got ammunition. Oh. I'll take all of that. Actually, I should probably take pork and the cram and the pork and beans. Hey, look, a baseball. Hey, right, Doc, let's go throw a baseball. Here, these are yours. <laughs> was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults it made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Uh, how about? Yes, hard coin mode. So, look at all this stuff we got. Oh god, oh, is it? Oh, there we go, there we go. All this stuff. Okay, okay, I don't understand how I understand. I wish you could just skip all this. Like, I wonder if I could just have that never be turned on, ever. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode. We will go out there and we will face the wasteland together. Our journey will start there. As, as I need to put this thing away!